gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammy, and today's video is going to be a QA. and a I asked or I asked you guys, yeah, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram and Instagram stories and you guys got some and like gave me some so I have them screenshot on my phone so I will go ahead and go through them I don't know if I'm going to do every single one we'll see, I also have coffee because it is the morning time and if you like hear a little weird stuff in like my voice I'm, my nose is stuffy um, so yeah, I'm talking a bit funny but if you guys are new, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and joining my little YouTube family. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the questions. So the first one I'm going to read off is, what gender do you want to have if you have a baby? So if you guys are new, I am trying to conceive my second child right now. This We are on our like third month of trying. I have a two and a half year old son named Parker. So um, I would want a little girl just to like switch it up but I it doesn't matter because I love having a little boy he's so energetic and like he runs around 24 7 and so I would like to have a little girl just to see because like the difference between them you know like if she is more calm or whatever because my little guy is such a like crazy he he gives amount of crazy throughout the day he's always constantly wanting to run around um he's just so he's got so much energy so i would like to have a girl for like that reason but i it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all i will love them so much because i love my son so much um baby names we don't have any baby names right now just because we are trying and um i mean we struggled coming up with the name for parker so i'm sure we're gonna struggle again um, what is your favorite brand? I don't have a favorite brand. I don't really buy particular things. If I'm going for clothes, um, I don't shop that much. But if I'm like shopping, I'll shop from Amazon or I'll shop from Forever 21 or Rue 21 or honestly just Walmart or Tar Target. Um, I don't go for like a specific brand. If it's cute, I'll get it. Just like makeup, I kind of switch between different makeups, um, especially foundation because I never know. There's always like a new one coming out, you know? So I don't really have that. Um, how bad do you want a baby? I want a baby pretty bad. I have some really like high, like a lot of baby fever like going on and you guys, I'm honestly just kind of struggling right now um, because we have, you know, been trying. This is our third month. And I'm trying to do ovulation tests and I was going to try to make a video for that for you guys. So that might be like a future video. But honestly, they're confusing the heck out of me um, like doing that. And like I'm posting on different websites and trying to get like other mommies help because something's weird is just going on with the ovulation test, I think. Um, so that's like stressing me out and everyone's like, have fun with it and all that. But I thought I was going to get you know, ovulation test and it's going to be this easy thing and so far it hasn't been for some reason, but I want a baby pretty bad. Uh, I got upset with my husband this morning because I was talking about the test and he like, he, I mean, he doesn't understand any of that stuff and so he couldn't really like respond correctly and I got upset. I was like, you don't care. But yeah, I want a baby. <laughs> what is your dream travel vacation? Um, so with like with kids, I like taking Parker just to Disney and going there like when he's older we went when he was um a little bit younger than two so with kids I think amusement parks and doing stuff like that and creating really good memories like that is fun but for like me and my husband going somewhere like fancy or whatever I don't even know um I would really like to travel to Italy and taste like their pizza and their pasta because that sounds bomb or like go somewhere tropical but then again, I'm scared of, like, sharks and stuff, so I don't know how much swimming I would do, but, yeah, something like that. If you live anywhere, where would you live? If I could live anywhere, we would live somewhere else. Um, I don't know, because we want to move. We don't want to live where we currently are for forever. Um, we had Hurricane Michael here, and it's kind of just destroyed everything. I mean, even our home still isn't, you know, fixed, and we've been here it's been like almost like two years since um and we just don't really like it here so there's not not much stuff to do for like kids so we know we want to move the only thing is i 
I can't leave like my grandparents are pretty old they're in their 80s and I just it would break my heart to leave them because they enjoy seeing Parker and they enjoy seeing me and because um I lost my mom which was their daughter I just don't feel comfortable leaving until you know they have passed away or they're in a facility or something where somebody I know is going to take care of them I don't want to leave and you know something bad happened to them um honestly I don't know where we're gonna live that is up to pricing and I I don't really know much about pricing all over the world just somewhere beautiful my husband would like to live somewhere where it snows and has like mountains and just somewhere where there's like lots of activities and stuff um I would like to live somewhere where snow but not all the time because I don't even know if I can drive in snow <laughs> um best moment with your kid hmm I don't know because we have so many great moments literally every morning um when I go in his room and like he's awake and he's happy to see me and he smiles and he jumps up and he's like mama that is the best thing in the freaking world it is so precious and I love it so much and like even talking about it like it makes me want to tear up because it's just special I did love breastfeeding um we breastfed for like 22 23 months or something and that was really special to me. Um, I don't know. He's such a sweet boy. Um, what are some hobbies other than being a mom? I really don't have any hobbies. I like to do like YouTube and stuff. I like to film stuff. But I don't really do much other than being a mom, honestly. Like that's just like my job now. And I don't really have any spare time from that. So I just try to incorporate being a mom into that. <laughs> Um, how did you wean Parker? He didn't really have much trouble, which honestly I was a little sad about because I wanted him to like be sad that we stopped breastfeeding. Um, but I don't know because he, he co-slept with us and I was like, it's, you know, I want another baby so it's, you know, time and I also want him to sleep in his own room. So honestly, we just stopped and he took it really well and then whenever we started to give him like foods and stuff, like when he was tiny he did pretty okay with that but like now nah nah he's a little toddler when it comes to eating foods um what is some advice for someone who's trying to get pregnant trying for years i really don't know because when we had parker i wasn't trying and i didn't know about all of this like ttc stuff like your your mucus and taking ovulation tests and keeping track like with the thermometer and just knowing how your body feels and that you only ovulate for like a certain time and all of that I had no idea about any of that so I don't really have much advice because I mean we're on our third month of actually trying right now and so far haven't gotten pregnant um, but for the three months that I have been trying it's been hard for me so I'm sure it's been hard for you trying for years and I wish you the best of luck possible and just keep up your spirits because that's all you can really do is just you know stay strong through the process um, what would your advice be for teens wanting babies young? I definitely don't condone it. Um, raising a kid is extremely hard and difficult and you lose a lot of friends and sometimes, you know, you can get depressed being a stay-at-home mom and you have to have, you know, money for all of this different stuff to raise a kid. So I definitely don't, if you want a baby, just wait, just wait if you possibly can. A lot of people are just asking about the gender and I really don't care what our next baby is. I already have a boy so I'd obviously love to have another boy because I know how it goes. I just think having a girl would be different and you know we could switch it up a bit just because I'm curious the difference between boys and girls you know. Um, how did you find out you're pregnant with your son? So when I found out I was pregnant with Parker I was living like we me and my boyfriend he was my boyfriend just just had like an apartment together um and i was going to like college and you know taking classes online and stuff like that and working a job um and honestly i remember because i worked at winn dixie at the time as a cashier and i was standing like waiting for people because i had, like the morning shift and nobody was ever in there so i was like standing in like the cashier line like waiting like for somebody to come down my lane and i was like I wonder if I should take a pregnancy test. Like, I don't remember why. I don't know if I had missed my period or, or what was going on, but I took it. And then my husband, boyfriend, was in the Air Force. So I had to call him at work and be like, we're pregnant. 
Do you speak other languages? No, I do not. I wish I did. I would like to learn Spanish and like some something where words that I say sound beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let's see other questions. Uh, some of these get dirty. Um, a lot of people ask like favorite sex position and I don't really have one. I definitely don't like being on top. Don't like that. I don't like putting in the work. <laughs> um, how old were you when you lost your virginity? I'm pretty sure I have a, a thing on my channel on here. I'll link it down below, but I was young. I think I was like 14. Um, not juicy, but you have any skincare hacks? Your skin looks really nice. Thank you, and I don't think my skin is nice. I have really big pores, um, and I've never really had a skincare routine. Um, I've never been into oils. When I was younger and I had really bad acne, the, like, doctor or whatever told me to use CeraVe for, you know, cleaning and, like, lotion, so check out that. Um, I don't use it anymore. I just, you know, use, like, an acne wipe at, like, night. And, um, just clean my face, like, in the shower, and that's, like, all I do, so. Does Parker still have tantrums? How do you handle them? Oh, boy, does he. He definitely has some tantrums. Um, he stopped going to the library because he had, like, a tantrum, because there's, like, a train set, and you can play with that before. It's, like, story time, and he did not want to go into the story time because all he wanted to do was play with his train set, and, like, he was hysterical, and so we bought him his own train set, and I haven't gone back just because it was embarrassing but yes he has them all the time in like walmart he doesn't want to sit in carts um he wants to walk or push the cart for like a second and then he wants to run around which obviously i can't have if i'm trying to shop i want him close by and like in eye distance you know and he will just get mad if you try to pick him up or put him in the cart and he'll just sit down and like cry um and honestly i just i sometimes we sometimes spank not often or we tell him no and we try to be stern but it's really hard, um, you know, because he thinks he's the boss. How is Parker eating? Is Parker a mama da boy or a dada boy? I think he's a mommy's boy just because I spent all day with him, but he gets so excited when daddy comes home. Um, I honestly just think he loves both of us, but a lot of the times if my husband tries to hold him and, like, he's upset, he will usually reach out for me. But he definitely do loves dada as well. And his eating habits haven't changed. I know we message on Instagram a lot. But he's a toddler and he's going to continue to be a picky eater for quite a while. Sometimes I get really lucky. I like night if I make like a lasagna or something. I put a little bit in his plate. And he's been like trying things like at nighttime for nighttime food. But he won't eat more than a couple of bites. And then I generally have to get him chicken nuggets or something. Um, he stopped liking mac and cheese. It's every day is just like, please eat this, and as long as he takes a few bites of things, I'm generally pretty happy. Let's see, more questions. Um, do your boobs hurt when and after feeding the baby? So I don't breastfeed anymore. I did for like 23 months. It was a process. Um, but no, they that when he was like first born and I was like engorged with milk, then that hurt. But then after you get used to it, it doesn't really hurt anymore. And it's kind of relieving whenever they get the milk out just because your boobs can, like, hurt because they get, you know, filled with milk. Um, did you get pregnant your first time having sex? And again, the B-card thing. So I lost it, you know, young, like 13 or 14. Um, too young to be having sex, definitely. But no, I didn't get pregnant the first time that I had sex. <laughs> A lot of people get in favorite sex position. I just don't like being on top, you guys. Let's see. Okay. Um, so I think that was all of those questions. Let me go and see on YouTube. Because I know I posted something on there. I think I got like two. Maybe. <laughs> One. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, do you have any good advice for breastfeeding? I did... I didn't really have issues breastfeeding Parker but I did like to keep up my milk supply and you can look into that and also if you're just having trouble maybe try a nipple shield or take a breastfeeding class um you can drink mama's milk tea that's what I did it just kind of you know helps um and there's a lot of different products out there to help I know they sell like they have a, the 
like baby aisle at Walmart they have some stuff there so definitely go look and make sure to do your research and like find what's right for your body and for your baby um what was your favorite memory with your son besides his birth I again I don't really know he just I feel like every moment because he's just so precious what has been your favorite memory with your husband so I mean just experiencing the birth of our child together and then I guess um one time when we went to like this walking dead thing I wasn't pregnant yet we were just dating but um it was in Georgia and they had like this whole like thing little town of like walking dead stuff and I really enjoyed that uh my favorite childhood movies basically anything Disney I've been a Disney person like forever and I will continue to be a Disney person forever I love Disney I watched Disney Channel for years and I even like just recently finished watching all of Hannah Montana on Disney plus just because I wanted to rewatch it um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A and it helped you get to know me a little bit better and if you guys are new please subscribe again stick along for this little TTC journey and just our life in general as young parents and I will see you guys whenever I upload my next video. Bye guys and thank you so much for watching.